Hello, this is Earl Mark. Rapid Shelter Displaced People is an interdisciplinary seminar. It's focused on rapidly deployed shelter settlements for forcibly displaced people. This panoramic photograph is of the Zatari refugee community in Jordan about two months after it was established by the United Nations. Many of the course details are posted on the web at the address shown here. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me for more detail. Since starting the seminar, it's been exciting to discover how each year a new group of participants brings a new voice and distinct perspective to the table. I encountered Syrian refugees purely by coincidence when I was traveling from Budapest to Vienna in the fall of 2015. It was a disheartening sight. There were clusters of people walking, often consisting of multiple generations of a single family. Three months later, I had changed the focus of my work. And five years later, I'm still discovering that there is a lot to learn. There were 79.5 million forcibly displaced people worldwide at the end of 2019. This is a growth of nearly 9 million people in one year. The rate of growth has continued to increase year after year. Forcibly displaced Syrians made up a significant part of refugees over the past decade, but not all of them traveled to Western Europe. A significant number settled in refugee camps in Jordan. Here we see the Zatari refugee community in Jordan in the first few months looking towards winter. We see the refugee camp during its first phase of growth. Structures need to be reinforced and ground conditions are somewhat primitive. In western Burma, at about the same time, ground conditions seem less even and resources less evenly distributed. Here in the aftermath of a typhoon, Philippine survivors put up a makeshift roof. Speed and improvisation can be life-saving. The rate of growth of a refugee settlement can be staggering. The refugee camp in Jordan grew from 2,500 shelters to over 25,000 shelters in less than eight months. An important part of the course is the cross-section of speakers. Their topics include religious practices and feminist studies, the Haiti earthquake and its historical context, recovery housing following the Haiti earthquake, farm service administration housing of the 1930s and healing landscapes, child development and play, humanitarian aid, refugee camp medicine, refugee resettlement, WASH, Leadership, Simulation, and Gaming. The seminar puts an emphasis on spatial, physical, and environmental conditions, but is not limited to any one particular disciplinary perspective. For example, this case study was focused on a refugee camp in a borderline area of Thailand. It's in a remote area with a number of bamboo bridge crossings, as you see here marked in yellow. Two students work together on making modest changes to a bamboo construction system. They explored new spatial changes for residential and non-residential structures. They took into account community agency and local building practices. They explored some variation on residential and non-residential structures. Here, for example, they explored a diagonal bracing system enhanced by a wood gusset plate developed according to traditional fabrication methods. The seminar is focused on revisiting assumptions and exploring models of practice across a range of disciplines. With any proposed solution, there are often trade-offs that are more significant with respect to forcibly displaced communities. Sometimes you can do more harm than good. 
Here the seminar benefits from students and speakers who have a wide range of disciplinary viewpoints and perspectives. Since the seminar began three years ago, there have been an increasing range of project types. Students at times are clustered together in ways that bring out different disciplinary points of view. Here, architecture student Will Merrill put together a phased-in shelter to housing sequence in four stages. This follows two hurricanes that devastated his hometown in Florida. He took into account stages of economic recovery, hurricane risk, and a building typology that reinforces a familiar sense of place. An abbreviated PDF file class description is linked to SIS, the Student Information System, as well as to Lose List. Each year, current events change our perspective on what's important to prioritize. This time seems similar to the 1930s Great Depression and Dust Bowl. It forged a new national consciousness with respect to meeting the needs of internally displaced people in the United States. 2020 has given us a lot to think about. I'm excited to learn what students' experience of the past year will bring to the seminar.